This is a completely new place. Oh, damn. It is our duty to safeguard this land. In the name of the Lord, we shall grant death to the intruders. just attacked without trying to hear us out at all and why are angels even here if Bethel is supposed to be fighting the armies of chaos they were genuinely trying to kill us we'd better watch ourselves We gotta go around. Of course, it wouldn't be that easy to get a straight shot to, uh, to our destination. So, what's your plan? Good. Oh wait, did we say we were gonna fight him? Wait, those ain't. Let's look around somewhere else for now. Of this plane. Oh, I'm with Bethel's Japanese branch. These are my friends. We're not your enemy. This land is under the direct protection of those in service of the Archangel. You intruders cannot be allowed to pass. No, wait! We don't want to fight! In the name of the Lord, we shall grant death. What are you on one? Probably consider these angels enemies. Yeah.
Ooh, 15,000. Okay, we, it's just a straight shot. Oh god, it's the penis demon. Why attempt to prevent me from finishing my duties? Just as divided knowledge and life are incomplete, so too must a man be uncomfortable from this desire. I believe you and I, Hubino, would understand this. <laughs> you too must be one of the lies of your... And this friction between us is simply the result of your desire to ram into me. Very good, very good. Don't need the crystals, I'm maxed out. Hmm. From before, he was talking about desire, but what was he really trying to say? His choice of words, he seemed like he was trying to discuss the merits of desire. Desire is not uncommon for people to think greedy or lustful sentiments is sinful, particularly in religious circles. But isn't desire ultimately what motivates us to do anything? The whole world has developed the way it has it has out of desire for better lives but that desire can also hurt others and even ourselves yes it can but such consequences aren't inherent it's too extreme to label this fundamental nature of desire itself as sinful what do you want what you want to do what you will do and what will result is our responsibility to consider those things it isn't right for anyone to unilaterally decide what's good and what's evil if something deemed purely evil the people would be robbed of their freedom to decide that is if they don't first abandon with freedom freedom themselves i disagree if if everyone did whatever they wanted the world would be a mess that's why we need things like order and laws right yes you're right that's the way things are in this world but that's this world Got a problem with those hey. daggone angels too. Can't say it, but angels sure look like they're on the warpath. They've been asking all the demons around here parts to come about some caddy stew or something. You mean the Kadasu? Yeah, that's the one. I didn't want to get caught up in the kerfuff kerfuffle, so I went I was looking for a good place to hide. Sorry to hear that the angels are a problem for us as well. Thank you for that information. It's no trouble at all, but you be careful out there now. He did say they were after the Magatsui produced by humans. And that they're a large crow that seems to be connected to the salt statues. What does it look like to you? Yes. So maybe the crow is working for the Kadasu and turning people into salt on their behalf. Not sure how turning people into salt relates to gathering Magatsui though. Perhaps it's a method specifically for, for the Kadistu. Do 
Intruders detected. We've received a request for aid. We must make haste. In the name of the Lord, we shall grant death to the intruders. More intruders? I guess there are others here besides us? The angels might be looking for the Kadishtu as well. Maybe they found them. If that's the case, maybe we should follow them. Let's keep going. It appears a new face has joined you since last we met. Do you know us? Who are you? Nuwa. And that's Shohei Yagamo. So you're the ones from the Tokyo Diet Building. I take it you've come in pursuit of the Kadish too. Then you're here for the same reason as us. People have been turning to salt in both the Netherworld and Tokyo. Could the Kadishtu have something to do with that? No. That isn't how those demons prefer to operate. It was done to set an example. As more victims turn to salt, humans grow more fearful of the wrath of a supernatural being. I'm sure you're aware of a group that delights in holding such a tension. Now that you mention it, I have heard of a story like this. Those who refused to heed God's warnings were turned to salt as punishment. What? If you want to know who's responsible, then find the one who leads these angels. Though I'm sure you found some areas difficult to access thanks to those vexatious cherubim. I could simply dispose of them directly, but you may consider hunting the angels nearby instead. Doing so may cause the cherubim to leave their posts. I see. Because they will be called in as reinforcements. Exactly. Whether you are investigating the salt statues or pursuing the Kadishtu, you will need to get past the Cherubim either way. Um, why are you telling us all this? Why is she blue? It's not enough for us to simply wish to help a young group fighting for their future. I bet you just want us to draw attention, so it's easier for you to get where you're going. <laughs> Think whatever you want. Well, I guess we should... 
Guess we should look for the angels then. So, there is a possibility that the angels may be involved with the salt statue incident. What do you think this means? The angels do have a legend in which humans are turned to salt. Based on this, it seems likely that the angels are involved in our situation. Still, this is merely speculation at the moment. Once we meet the angel in command, everything will become clear. We should remain focused as we proceed. Objective confirmed. We're around. It is our duty to see. They're ridiculous with these. Our strength was not enough. Call for reinforcements. Did you hear that? Think that was an order for the cherubim? Let's go see. So I gotta.
I see. Hey. Um. The angels are involved with everything, turning everyone to salt. You guys think that you can really be true? Well, Definitely a possibility, actually, sooner. I don't know how to consider it sooner. Yes. Um. But. Can you say for absolute certain that it wasn't angels? I guess not. Now, how you feel? I know how you feel, but I used to believe in Bethel and angels too. But I can't completely honestly. Or I can't speak completely honestly. The sooner you get over that, the better. I. Yes. Yoko, I'm sorry.
Mm, so I think we're going the wrong way. They didn't give us no lead. Trying to get to that ley line. So I see you've made it through. It's you again. Just standing around waiting for us? Don't dare tell me you are concerned. Call it a whim of mine. Besides, there is the worst case to consider. <laughs> Never mind that. The Kaddish two are plotting something here. The event that we die. If that happens, destroying the Kaddish two falls to you. Consider that burden payment for the information I gave you earlier. Do you have an idea of what they're after? We know they're gathering Magatsuhi for something. That's right. And once they have enough, their next move will most likely be at that large building. The Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building? Correct. Can you feel the massive power growing there? I imagine they liken that building to an ancient shrine. 
A fitting venue to summon a god. Summon a god? Sites that reach the skies have been associated with gods since ancient times. And this one doubles as a symbol of authority. It suits the beckoning of a god. What are the Kadishtu going to do once this ritual is complete? Who can say? Perhaps they'll try to use its power to destroy the throne. Much like us. The throne? Yakumo. So, what is your goal then? What kind of world are you trying to create? I want a world where people can truly live freely. Humanity has been used and discarded by gods and demons alike. Only by eradicating both can an ideal world for humans come to be. But if you do that, what about her? I am the goddess that created humanity. My values lie not in my own life like a human's might. Whether I am there or not when Yakumo's world comes to be is of no concern to me. Demons and humans cannot coexist. So you don't think a world in which we can all join together is possible at all? I've said enough. If you don't like my solution, then feel free to find your own. Incoming message from Bethel, Japan. Apologies for the abrupt request, but we have an urgent situation in Tokyo. I'll need you to make your way back to the Japanese branch. Alright, then let's head back.